This is a water droplet that you're going to see. And in this water droplet, a frequency uh, is being pumped into this water droplet. As the frequency uh, is mirrored in the droplet, you'll actually see the geometric patterns in that droplet. Now what's happening, and the reason that this is so significant, is because we're going to do a frequency sweep. We're going to go from low frequencies to higher frequencies. And what you'll find is this. You'll see that in the lower frequencies, the patterns are less complex. And in the higher frequency, the patterns are more complex. So we're going through a sweep from lower to higher frequency. I'm sharing this with you now because Earth is essentially going through a frequency sweep. Our fundamental pulse, our base pulse, that has hovered around 7.8 cycles per second, now is changing. And again, there's a lot of controversy about what the change is, and we're witnessing the change. As we go through our planetary shift of this pulse, patterns of energy must change to respond to that, just as patterns of energy in this water are changing to respond to this, to this pulse. And we'll begin with simply the concentric patterns in the water as the frequency begins. Every once in a while, we'll reach a key threshold resonance, such as that moment right there. And in that key threshold resonance, the entire pattern morphed into a more complex expression of itself, simply because the frequency changed. Now watch what happens. The frequency is still increasing. Now watch what happens. As we reach a, another key threshold resonance, this entire pattern will morph into a beautifully uh, and more complex pattern of itself. Again, and again. And look at this pattern right here. Look what you're seeing right here. Look at the beautiful geometry. Here is a perfect cube. There's a perfect tetrahedron, a star tetrahedron. In two dimensions, we've got the octahedron very powerful images of sacred geometry held in place simply because we've achieved the vibratory pattern that allows that in this water droplet. And as the vibration increases, these patterns will become more and more complex. You can see the pulse from where you are. Can you see the pulse actually in, uh, in the water? As we go into this, the last set of the frequencies, what you'll see is that the entire, and you'll watch along the outer perimeter, the entire pattern reaches its greatest level of complexity, and then it goes back. Uh, as the frequencies drop, it goes back to what it was, the concentric circles, as it was originally. It almost looks alive. You know, you've been offered many times the concept that thought is vibration. Have you ever considered that emotion is vibration? Feeling is vibration. We are always feeling something. We are always emoting something. We may not always be aware of what that is. We carry those patterns with us. As we hold a feeling and an emotion, what we're doing is we are holding a vibratory pattern in the liquid crystal of our bodies. The message from water. Mr. Amoto's work provides factual evidence that human vibrational energy, thoughts, words, ideas, and music affect the molecular structure of water. Please remember that water comprises over 70% of a mature human body and covers the same amount on our planet. Water is the very source of all life. To what extent is water capable of picking up information? What does it perceive? And how does it remember it over time? The Aerospace Institute in Stuttgart has discovered a relatively simple way of making the structure of a drop of water visible. The researchers have had their efforts rewarded by insights into a very beautiful world. Each drop has a face of its own, unmistakable and unique. Why are the individual drops so different from one another? 
We got a lot of people to come to a lecture hall here at the Institute, gave them all the same water, had them make drops at exactly the same time, collected all the drops and then discovered that each individual produced different images from the same water. And here you can see the results. Here on the right you can see that the images of the individual students are different, but those made by a given student are all quite similar. This is the work of the first experimenter, this one here from the second, this from the third, and this from the fourth. Individually they can quite easily be reproduced, but you would never have thought that they were all from the same water, because when you compare the images from the different people, you see some big differences. Then we undertook experiments to find out whether things changed when we put something into the water. A real flower was placed in the water. A while later we took a drop of water, and here you can see one of the pictures. And you can see it in this picture. It's the typical image you get when you put a flower into water. You could recognize the flower in every single drop in this glass, of course. That can be reproduced and has significance. And if you were to put a different flower in here, for example, a sweet william flower, then all the drops of this water would look like sweet william. The statement that water has a memory practically changes our whole way of looking at the world, of course. Let's travel down the Rhine in the figurative sense. The water is flowing down the Rhine, picking up information everywhere it goes. So the water has more information at the mouth of the Rhine than it had at the source. And the Dutch, living at the mouth, when they drink that water, they're also drinking all that information. Thus, the world's oceans would no longer be something that separates us, but instead a giant storehouse of information, and the rain would perhaps be a data medium carrying information to the world. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? If thoughts can do that to water, Imagine what our thoughts can do to us. Legends can be now and forever Loved by the sun Loved by the sun Loved Two and two go so close together Whether there is hope is torn apart in the words of all that singing hand in hand the beginning is at the start legends can be now and forever teaching us to reach for goodness sake legends can be now and forever loved by the sun Who 
joins with you, the wise, the meeting of all wisdom. Sweet songs of you, the wise, the meeting of all wisdom. Sweet songs of you, the wise, the meeting of all wisdom. Sweet songs of you, the wise, the meeting of all wisdom. To believe in the good in man. To believe in the good in man. 